In this video, we're going to talk about SlickEdit's multi-file find feature, which will search a tree of files in the background while you keep working. If you've not seen it yet, you may want to watch the video Find and Replace Tool Window first. To use multi-file find, just go to Search, Find and Files. First, you need to specify the string to search for. Then you need to specify the directory to search in. You can also choose the current buffer, all open buffers, the current project, the current workspace, or the current files working directory. We're going to pick a directory in this case. Next, we specify the type of files to search in. You can specify any file spec you'd like in this box, and it will be saved and restored to this combo box. You can also specify exclude file specs. This is good for skipping build directories or version control directories. This text box supports ANT style matching. Slickit has a type for binary files, as well as default excluded files. We're going to use the default excludes. Default excludes can be configured in the configuration dialog. See Tools, Options, then Editing, Search. Next, we have whether to search in subfolders and whether to look in zip, word, and Excel files. Also, there's advanced filtering, which lets you set a maximum size file to search and dates, including date range, before and after certain dates. This tool window supports three kinds of regular expressions, Perl, Vim, and Slick at its own variety, as well as simple wildcard matching. We're not going to use this in this example. Next, we see syntax-driven searching. For more on this, watch the video Syntax Driven Searching. We're going to use it to avoid finding the search string in comments and strings. By default, the output goes to the Search Results tool window. You have the option to have a new output tab for every search. or append to existing results. You can also have the output go to an editor window. Finally, you can list the context of each instance found. Now we're going to click Find. These results went to the Output Tool window. You can double click to jump to one and press Control comma to jump back. This is a small sample, but it does work in the background, allowing you to continue to work. Notice the context information, including the package and class, as well as the line number for each one, so we can jump to those as well. This will have a slight impact on performance. Only SlickEdit can offer this feature because of its powerful context tagging engine. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com/trial.